Hey, this video is titled, You'll Never Have Nothing. My sister and I were talking today, and I wanted to share the conversation with you because it really can be life-changing. Do you remember the parable of the talents, where there was a man that had ten talents that, that the master entrusted him with, one that had five, one that had one, and they were to take care of them until the master came back. Um, the one with ten talents invested it, and he got more. The one with five invested it, and he got more, but not as much as the one with ten. The one with one was scared because scared of his master, so he hid it, and he returned just the one. And what happened was the man that had gotten more with the ten talents got more, was rewarded with more. The one with five that got more was rewarded. The one that just hid it um, got reprimanded, and what he had was given to the man with ten talents. And what my sister was talking about was that this is the catch-22 of life. When you have everything, it's easier to risk what you have for something that is of God because you, your experience in your life, you'll know you'll get something. You have something. So you have that trust. Your emotions are there. So when you risk something, when you have everything, even though from the outside it might look like you're risking more, you have the faith, because you already have, that something good will come out of that. You're, you've been blessed, so it's easier to project that blessing to come. But if you don't have anything but this one thing, it's much scarier to risk it, that one thing even though by holding on to it, you'll lose it all. But we never have nothing, because we have Christ, who has said, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. And that verse in Hebrews, it actually is a double negative um, in, in the Greek. It says, it's like, never, never will I leave you. No, never will I forsake you. We'll always have Christ. So we'll never, the Christian, the believer, will never have nothing. So what is it to risk things of the earth? And if we risk it for the things of God, His Word promises that there will be a return on that investment. So take faith, take heart. You won't ever have nothing. If you're a believer, you always have Christ and you have His promises. And you will always reap. God bless you. Have a wonderful Christmas. And remember to savor your Savior.